Hello and welcome to Stranded Deep. My name is Agurk and today I'm going to walk you through how to upload a custom island to Stranded Deep using the new Steam Workshop tool. As you can see on the screen here, I have the developer notes for experimental version 0.66 where it tells you about this new feature. There are a couple of main links here. The first one is a link to the Steam Workshop tool. If I click on that, it opens up the page on how to download and use the tool. There's a download link here for Google Drive. If you click on that, it will download the workshop tool in a zipped format. You just have to find it on your computer, unzip it, open the folder, open the folder within that, and there's the workshop tool. If you double click on that and open it, it looks like this. And here you can see it says workshop, there's an angled bracket, and there's a flashing cursor. And that just means that it's ready to go. But we'll put this aside for now. We'll come back to this later. Note that you have to be logged into the Steam client and have to have Stranded Deep closed in order for the workshop tool to open. Now, what I'm gonna be focusing on in this video is the third item here, which is publishing maps. And this is how you upload a custom island. A lot of people have been having problems using this tool, so I'm gonna try and walk you through it. The first thing we need to do is to prepare all of our files for upload. So on my D drive, I've created a new folder for this project called Stranded Deep Dash Maps. Now you can call yours whatever you like. Just remember what the name is. In this folder, you can see that I already have two other folders, and these are folders that I created for the two islands that I've already uploaded to the workshop. You don't have to put each island in a separate folder, but I did that just to keep it organized and easier for myself to follow. Now, as I don't actually have another island ready for upload at this time, I'm going to just upload a duplicate of Smuggler's Curse for this demo. It makes no difference as it's the same process regardless. All right, so I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it Smuggler's Curse 2. So I'm going to open that and there's nothing in it, obviously, as I just created it. All right, so once you've done that, you then need to find your stranded deep game files where your custom maps are located. So on my computer, this is under Documents, Stranded Deep, Data, Experimental, Editor, Maps. Now this is where the default install location is on a Windows computer. So it should be the same on yours unless you chose to place it elsewhere. You just have to find the correct folder and work your way down until you get to all the custom islands. Now you may have only one, you may have more than I have or somewhere in between. It doesn't really matter. If you're doing one island, you just have to find the correct island. The one that I'm doing is this one here. And I'm just gonna open it to make sure it's right and it's called Smuggler's Curse. You can see the editor height and object map files. This is the correct folder. I'm just gonna right click and copy that. I'm just gonna go back to the folder that I just created, which is called Smuggler's Curse 2. And I'm going to paste the custom island file in there. The only other thing I need in this folder is a preview image. And this will be the image that shows up in the workshop when I'm displaying my island. So I already have a preview image created and I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in here. And you can use any photo editing program to copy or do screenshots and whatnot of your island and then just prepare it and then upload it into this folder and you'll be ready to go. And that's all you need to have in there. One thing you'll have to know about this is that the maximum allowed size is one megabyte for the preview image. You can see that mine is just under the allowed size. If the image that you try to upload is over one megabyte, it won't upload. So when you look at your island in the workshop, there won't be an image. But as long as it's under one megabyte, you're good. Next thing we have to do is scroll down a bit here and there's an example JSON file. We want to copy that and I'm going to paste it into an empty notepad text file. I'm using notepad because it's a very simple program. Everybody should have this on their computers if you have Windows. It's simple, no frills and easy to understand. Paste that in there and it has all the JSON information that you'll need there. You'll now need to edit this to match your island and the path to the files on your computer. So I have already done that for mine and I'm just gonna show you that as well. I'll put it side by side here so you can compare the two. 
Basically, I've taken the title, I've changed it to Smuggler's Curse 2, I've left a short description in there, and at this point, I would recommend that you do leave the description very short. If you start putting things in that are too long and punctuations with line shifts and things like that, it could cause errors. So just leave it really short. It doesn't matter. You can edit it once you've uploaded it to the workshop and before it goes live to the public. So yeah, keep it short and simple. The change note is basically just the editing version number of the island that you're updating and you get this directly from the cartographer. It'll tell you what version number it is. Once you have that, just type it in here and you're good. The preview file, this has my path to my file, my preview image that we just pasted into that folder. And it's d colon backslash stranded deep dash maps backslash smugglers curse 2 backslash preview dot jpeg. Now, you'll notice I only said one backslash. I didn't say double backslash. And that's because the actual path, which we can see here in Explorer, I don't know if you can see that, but it's one single backslash. But in JSON, you have to escape your backslashes, which basically just means you have to put another backslash. So it's a weird programming thing with JSON that you have to have a double backslash. So just realize that and make sure that you have a double backslash wherever there's a single backslash. So just add the extra backslash and you'll be good to go. If you put it in with one backslash, you'll get an error. Content path. This is the path on my computer to the folder where the actual map file is located. Fairly simple. And again, just remember to use double backslashes. Published file ID zero. The zero just indicates that it's a new upload, so when uploading a new island, you'll just leave this as zero as it shows here on screen. You will get a new file ID in the response from the workshop tool once you've successfully uploaded your island. You can make a note of this number and then paste that ID number here in place of the zero in your JSON file if you need to update the island later on. You can upload a new map file or a new preview image and it will replace the old one instead of creating a duplicate. And finally at the bottom here where it says tags and the only tag in there is maps, that's exactly how it has to be. So just leave it exactly like you see on the screen here. So I'm going to save this as a JSON file. Now this is a text program so it's trying to save it as a text file. So we want to change this to all files. And then we want to change it to Smuggler's Curse 2.json. And I'm copying it into the same main folder, not the island folder itself. So I need to go up a level in order to see this. And we can see that we now have a Smuggler's Curse 2 JSON file. If I open it, you can see that it's there. Everything looks correct, so we should be good to go. If we open the Smuggler's Curse 2 folder, we can see that we do have the map file and we do have the preview image, so again, we're good to go. We can now try to upload this using the workshop tool. So I'm gonna go back to my downloads, open the workshop folder, and open the workshop tool. So we're gonna move it here into the center of the screen and we're now ready to type in what we need to type in order to upload the JSON file. So if we scroll down on the workshop tool page here, we can see an example down below. The part we're interested in is the bit that comes after the workshop and the angled bracket. So I'm gonna just use that as a guideline and it's upload underscore item space quote and then the path to your JSON file, end quote. Now note that this is not a JSON file. This is just a path to a JSON file. So you don't need the double backslashes. So I'm gonna paste it in and the reason I did this in the text document was because it's really tricky to work in the workshop tool. If you click in the middle here, if you typed it in wrong and you try to fix it, you can't. The cursor just jumps back to the end of the line. So you basically would have to backspace the whole thing and delete it and then type the whole thing again. So I find that it's way easier to edit it in the text program, make sure it's right, then copy it and paste it into the workshop tool. Once we're ready to go, all we need to do is hit enter and the program will run and we'll try and upload the JSON file. We can read the response as it works through it. Validating JSON, creating new item. There's an item ID number. Keep a note of that on a separate piece of paper. 
or just leave this open until you're sure that your island has uploaded properly. It's got the title, it's got the description, it's got the tags, it's got the image path, the content path, and it looks like everything was done properly. So this looks like a successful upload. We can test this out by going to the workshop. It's gonna open that. On the right here where it says your files, take the first item, which is files you've posted, and you can see my two islands that I've already previously uploaded, Hideaway and Smuggler's Curse. You can see that the description on Smuggler's Curse is nice and long. That's one that I've already edited. And here's Smuggler's Curse 2, which we just uploaded. It has a short description. And if we click on this, we'll go to the Smuggler's Curse 2 page. Now, you can see at the top here, it says current visibility is hidden. This item will only be visible to you, admins, and anyone marked as a creator. So this is so that you have time to edit it before you make it public. So you can see here, I only have one photo and my description is very short. So down below here, you can see next to the subscribe button, we have the owner controls. This is where you can do all your editing. The first one is edit title and description. So I can go in and call this something else. For example, Smuggler's Curse Extreme. And I could type in a much longer description, but I'm just going to type in blah, 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 so that you can see that it has been edited and I'm going to save it. And it says saved and we go back to the page again. And you can see now that the title has changed to Smuggler's Curse Extreme. And my description now has blah, blah, blah on the end. So you can see that that was successful. You can update this and make as long a description as you like. Tell a little story, make your island sound interesting, whatever you need to do there. Next item is to add images and videos. So if you choose a file on your computer, you can then upload it. It doesn't matter where it's located. It doesn't have to be in the same folder. You can pick it from any folder on your computer. And I'm just gonna take some from the previous island that I uploaded because it's the same island and it's the same photos, but it's irrelevant where they're from. And you have to do these one image at a time. It will take a little while to do it. I'm just gonna select the next photo and upload that as well. And you can upload as many as you like down here. I'd say five to six is probably fine. On the right, you can see that there is a box here for Sketchfab and one for YouTube. I don't know what Sketchfab is, but for YouTube, you can put in a link to a YouTube video if you've done one up showcasing your island. And I believe it will show up in the gallery below your preview image. So that's pretty cool. All right, next item is edit links. These are your social media links. So you can add your Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and all that stuff on here. And yeah, that'll append it to the file. What else do we have up here? At the top, you can start some discussions. You can read the comments that people have left. And the final one is change notes. And down below here, you can see this is version 13, which we had in the JSON file. You can go in and edit this if you made a mistake. You can change it to 14 or back to 12 or whatever the case may be. We open that again. You can see that it has now been edited. All right, and then once you're done, that's pretty much all you need to do. We have the photos we want. We have the change notes done. We have the title and the description edited. So now you can go down to the bottom here and change the visibility. Once you're 100% ready to go, you would click public here so it has a check mark next to it. I'm not going to do this because this is just a duplicate of an island I've already uploaded for this purpose. You would click on public and you'd be done. The island would now be uploaded to the workshop. So we can go back to the workshop and check this out, see how it would look. Once you do open the workshop, you just look for your island and you'd find it here like Smuggler's Curse here in the middle. And that's it. You have now successfully uploaded your island to the workshop. All right, so I have a couple of things just to reiterate here, things to be aware of, the, the most common errors, the double backslashes. Make sure you have those in the JSON file. Single backslashes though in the workshop tool. The preview image has to be maximum one megabyte in size. And everything else, make sure your paths are correct to your documents and make sure your punctuation and quotes and colons and commas are correct. Just use this one on screen as a guideline. And if you do all of those correctly, you should be done.
All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope this helped you guys out so that you can now upload your custom islands using the Stranded Deep Steam Workshop tool. I want to see more islands on there. I love playing custom islands just as much as you guys do. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like or a comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a ton of Stranded Deep videos that you can check out. Well worth it. I'm playing a Let's Play Hard series right now where I'm playing on the hard difficulty level. I have a tutorial series if you're new to the game. And I have a navigation video that will kind of blow most people's minds if you haven't seen it yet. So check it all out. It's well worthwhile. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Agurk. We'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.